Don't just take our word for it. Check out what our clients are saying about working with the Dan Jemis Real Estate Team. You know, I got to thank you for being a voice of reason in a sea of insanity. I really appreciate what you and your team do. Visit danjemis.com. And now, filling in for Dan Jemis, it's your host, Joyce Blackmere. And welcome back to the show. I'm Joyce Blackmere, Director of Sales and Broker with the Dan Jemis Real Estate Team. Uh, with me in studio today, I'm in luck. I have my husband and sales rep with the team, Aaron Blackmere, with us. Hi, Aaron. Hi. It's the first time I've heard you say luck. Luck. With me. So okay. Lucky, yes. <laughs> I was going to say welcome back to the Black Mirror show, but no. I, I need my job. Yes. <laughs> I, mm. I want to keep it. Tread lightly. Yes, yes. So welcome back to the Dan Jemis Real Estate uh, Show. This is our last segment, but uh, before we uh, get started, Aaron, you have our winner for the $50 gift, gift card for the Richmond Popcorn Company. I do. I picked this personally. Steve Eisenman for making my Canada free agent frenzy happy. Okay. Let's okay, be anyway. real now. Uh, so congratulations <laughs> to Kathy Craig. Congratulations, Kathy. It's $50 uh, for the Richmond Popcorn Company. Uh, Richmond Popcorn Company is located at uh, 61 Richmond Street in Amherstburg. you got to get in there. There's so many amazing, amazing flavors, and they're always switching them up. It's just always a surprise to go in there. Love <laughs> it's it. It's always a surprise to come home with new flavors. It is. I love it. Yes. Uh, so we're going to talk about um, what is making uh, values of property go up, and it's also increasing the happiness of homeowners as well. Um, a new survey uh, released by the National Association of Realtors uh, says that buyers prefer um, neighborhood amenities. Uh, they want to live within uh, close proximity to shops, cafes, parks, and they'll pay more money for these properties uh, as well. This is a newly released article uh, just this year. Um, community and transportation um, are preferences uh, for home buyers, according, according to this, uh, this particular article. So if you have a listing or if you're planning on listing uh, near, near, uh, with nearby neighborhood amenities, oh my goodness, um, especially if your home is in within walking distance, uh, you may uh, want to consider putting it on the market uh, because uh, you, you'll probably fetch a little more money uh, for it. And that's something that realtors would want to promote a little more heavily uh, in their marketing as as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so 79% of respondents to this uh, survey rate walkability as a very or somewhat important. Uh, so that's, that's a lot of people. Uh, 78% say they'd pay more for a home in a walkable community. The survey shows young adults prioritize walkability the most, with 90% of Gen Z and millennial respondents indicating they'd pay more for a home in a walkable community. A third say they'd pay a lot more. Uh, the survey did not specify how much more they'd, they'd be willing to pay. But, you know, I find that interesting because Aaron and I can speak from experience when we say, like, we have three young adult uh, children and all but, well, I guess Sydney didn't take a long time, but um, two of our kids took quite a long time to get their license. And I'm hearing that often. Mm -hmm. It's mar more common uh, that they're taking longer to go through the um, uh, the graduated licensing program, or they just they just don't even care if That's, they have it. I found at all. a lot of it. They don't care. Um, like a lot of things are different. Like even home ownership for some of them isn't a big deal right now. Um, but when they are looking into the market, it's definitely with the walkability that they're looking for, like closer to those, you know, the bars, the restaurants, the, the little cafes and all that stuff and, and, and shopping, obviously. Yeah. Walkability became more of a focus during the COVID-19 pandemic, but the demand has only grown since. In fact, uh, NARS biennial survey shows a modest uptick in consumer de demand for homes that offer greater walkability to surrounding community areas. Uh, with COVID in the rear view mirror, uh, this study shows that substantial demand for walkability persists for people of all agent, uh, ages. Um, I have agents, free agent, 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 agents <laughs> in my mind. <laughs> About half of the community, uh, the survey's 2,000 respondents say they prefer a walkable community and shorter commute, even if it means living in an attached home, such as a townhome or condo, or having a smaller yard. Uh, indeed, the majority of survey respondents say they prefer a house with a small yard over one with a larger yard that is further away from amenities. Uh, the survey looked at um, 
transportation traits. Uh, it also looked at, uh, of course, walkability, as we've said, uh, commute length and proximity to highways um, and bi uh, bike paths are also uh, important to uh, buyers as well. So this hmm. is interesting. I can understand the commute part because uh, before I got into real estate, when we were living up north, I used to drive to Barrie when we lived in the little town of Stainer. And that was a, when I first started doing that, what's 35 minute drive for me. And by the time I was done driving back and forth there with all the trans, like uh, all the people moving to the area and the area growing, my drive went from 35 minutes to 55 minutes in a matter of uh, six years it was, I was dra driving back and forth to Barrie. So yeah. I understand the shorter commute, walkability, but also on the other side, I like that long drive to unwind after work sometimes. Well, the interesting, the interesting fact um, that I, I like to look at here is that the younger adults care more about the commute times than um, our generation. So we're, I guess we're Gen X, sure. I think. I don't know. They, there's too many. But anyways, the older demographics don't care so much about the commute time. I personally don't mind a little bit of drive time. That is a time to unwind. We can, you know, you can sing in the car, you can just relax, sure. you can enjoy silence, whatever you want. It's a nice, sure. nice way to reset before you get home. Uh, but some other notables uh, in this article, sidewalks and places to take walks uh, were ranked, um, actually 84% ranked that as either very important or somewhat important. Mm -hmm. So that's a pretty big number. Also the safety factor. There. Yeah. Oh, yes, absolutely. Uh, being with an easy walk of community amenities, uh, that's um, up at 80% as well. Being a short commute to work, 72%. Having public transit nearby, that's at 70%. Well, if you're doing walkability, you obviously maybe don't have a vehicle. So yeah. you're going to need transportation places. And do you think that's why Walkerville is so popular in Windsor just there's so much there and you can Maybe. walk everywhere to so much yeah uh, easy access to the highway 74% um, bike lanes and paths um, are up at near 60 uh, next 60% percent. Hmm. Um, low levels of crime as well uh, walkable to shops and restaurants uh, high quality public schools and short commute so those are all the things that low crime ranked. Was one? Oh. Surprise, yeah. surprise. <laughs> well, I mean, people, people Please, show me the ahead, highest, right? highest crime well, rate area going and I'll move there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, at least they're prioritizing yes, yes, and, and they're thinking uh, ahead, yes. right? Uh, unlike, uh, you know, we, we talked about our, our biggest mistakes, right? Yes. At the beginning of the show, yep. you want to make sure that you're doing your due diligence uh, before you Look make that. We just went full decision. circle. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we took it full circle. Black Mirror, go team. Yep. <laughs> So that's, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a pretty interesting um, article uh, to find. So if you're thinking of listing uh, your home and you are within a walkable area, your house may just be more worth more than you think. Yep. Um, any member of our team uh, would be happy to come out and give you a free home market evaluation, no matter where you live. Uh, we cover every area of the county and we'd love to discuss with you what's going on in the market and the, uh, you know, the, what's going on in your neighborhood uh, as well well so that you can get uh, a good value um, on your home and uh, you can reach out to our team uh, seven days a week at 519-566-5565. Uh, you can also uh, find us online at danjemis.com. Uh, Aaron, you've been, you've been pretty busy uh, right now. There's a lot of new things yeah, coming up. The one, there's one thing I wanted to say. Uh, I know the market's getting a little here and there again. It's, it's a frustrating market at times. Um, but I'm going to tell you, stay consistent. Um, mm. I had some people um, looking waterfront strictly. We've been looking for two years. Um, and we've been getting closer and closer. And, and you know, so we're starting to understand the market a bit better. Well, we've done a lot of showings and viewings at um, waterfronts. And unfortunately, they haven't been coming back very favorably. We've been doing a lot of home inspections. Um, I highly, highly recommend home inspections on waterfronts. Um, on any property. Well, any property, yes. <laughs> but uh, the, the waterfronts... Uh, the, the crawl spaces were coming back not favorable and it's hard to put down you know a, a certain amount of money and knowing that you have to do an x amount more to make it inhabitable or, or uh, available for for visiting and staying in so we finally found something after two years and it was the perfect property it was the perfect location so all i'm saying is it's out there you just have to be patient sometimes and uh, stay with it because um, persistent pays off. And Absolutely. And we've heard it many times, uh, you know, buyers get frustrated and yep. they, they say they're going to take a break, but honestly, the longer you wait, you the, the less wealth you're building, right? You're not building, um, 
uh, equity, equity or, thank you, uh, in, in your home. Uh, so that, you know, that's something that you could be getting into a lot, a lot sooner. Again, we don't want you to make poor decisions, no. but we just want to also to keep the options open. And you know what the bad part uh, about that all is, is I've been showing them for two years and I'm going to miss them. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but great. it worked, it worked out so perfect. They said, uh, you know, I'm probably never going to see them again unless it's for a visit because they're not selling this property. It's an amazing property. They love it already. Um, and that's, that's what the job's all about. That's what makes you smile and that's what makes you, it makes you happy. Right. Yeah. Um, is, is the final result. Absolutely. And you just did your, your final walkthrough with them. Oh, well, no, one the, of the, one of their walkthroughs. One of their yeah. walkthroughs. And, uh, you know, you get there, you don't want to leave. It's, uh, it's amazing waterfront. Like I say, it's, uh, to see the smiles on the whole family's face and, and the giddiness of knowing that they're going to be there for a long time. Uh, you know, kept me, kept me smiling all day yesterday as well, as well as free agent frenzy. Well, then it's, uh, it's good that they still have more walkthroughs available. I'll, I'll get a chance to actually see it myself as well. Yep. <laughs> yep. Perfect. Well, you know what? Uh, that's all the time that, uh, we have for today. Uh, the hour always goes by, goes by so quickly. Aaron, thanks for joining me and keeping the conversation flowing. It was a pleasure. Awesome. Well, what we can um, talk about later though. Oh, I don't know. We're not going to talk. We're not going to talk the rest of the day. We're all talked out. That's right. <laughs> uh, thanks everybody uh, for joining us. We'll be back uh, next week. Next week we will have the stats. Uh, the June stats will be released uh, sometime early this week. So we'll have a conversation around that uh, next week's show uh, with you uh, Saturdays and Sundays between 12 and 1 p.m. here on AM 800. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week.